As a software engineer, I've been working from home and even though I've got a really good chair, I've been having some back pains. That's why this company called Nipo, they sent me their O-Pillow Back Massager. This is amazing. Every now and then I get like a five, 10 minute massage and I get my back back in business. Go ahead and check them out. Link will be in the description of this video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. What's going on guys? It's your boy Nelson right here. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and give me a thumbs up also subscribe and if you're not part of the amigos code community go ahead and join over 7,000 people which is just just insane so today i want to share with you my experience where i almost you know drop out of university because it was just too much and too um difficult i'm not gonna lie it was it was difficult right so i've done a three years uh, computer science degree in london and I remember it. I remember exactly, you know, the moment where uh, I was just being bombarded with a lot of information and things weren't just making sense to me, right? Things weren't making sense. So prior to that, I did actually a, a, a course in, um, a, a, yeah, that was a course in computing, but it wasn't nothing at that level, right? University level. Because most of us, what we think is, you know, we're just going to go to university and the teachers will sit down with you and then tell you what to do and make sure that you grasp things, right? That's not the case. When you go to university, that's not the case. And this is something that I failed to realize in my first year. So I was actually very chilled out. I wouldn't take notes. I wasn't, because I, I, didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know much about it, right? And it was just to a point where I was getting bombarded with so much information, you know, logic, uh, um, um, uh, I think it was computer logic, and then operating systems and concurrency, and then Java, and all of these other concepts, which I was like, you know, logic, why, why, would I need, why would I need logic? And then operating systems and concurrency was like a different beast on its own, right? Um, and yeah, and it was just, just just too much, right? And I didn't realize that I had to work really hard. It was just up to me, right? So no one cares whether you go to the lectures or you do your, your assignments, because at the end of the day, what you need to do is just to pass the exams at the end. That's all it matters, right? And I've, I, I literally just, just thought that it was just good life sitting and then just just listen to teachers and go home and then just just go and do some sports or play computer or playstation photography on all, all of these things right so you know i actually know a lot of people that actually dropped out of university because they said you know what this is too difficult and what i want to tell you is that if you get overwhelmed and you are being bombarded with so much information right especially if you don't have, you know, for example, you know, some maths background, because sometimes it's easier for people that have done maths or, you know, there are countries where they kind of do computer science, you know, from from the age of, uh, I think it's like, um, I think it's year nine or year 10, uh, you know, secondary school, actually, they, they do computer science. But for me, it wasn't the case, right? So for those people, it's actually easier, right? When they come, they see the concepts, they kind of they kind of relate uh, with what they, they have done before and they are prepared when they look at, for example, algorithms and, you know, implementing all of these things was was just difficult. Right. Um, and also to mention to mention, right, coding, like, you know, all of these concepts and then coding on top of that, implementing these things, it was just just too much, too much. Right. And I know people that dropped out of university. Um, and Alhamdulillah, I, I, I didn't, I didn't, you know, I, um, I, I, I made it, I, I literally made it. But what I want to tell you is if you, if you go through the same, um, situation, right? The advice for you is it is fine, right? If you are being bombarded with stuff and you kind of don't understand, um, you know, right away, it is absolutely fine, right? It is fine because we all learn from from so, somewhere, right? Not not everyone knows everything, right? So just keep on pushing, just keep on pushing. If you don't understand, you know, just go and research, study, find the teachers 
and just just find the momentum, right? Just find the momentum because uh, university is not just going out with friends and have fun. It's just study. You literally have to study. And, you know, three, whether it's three or four years, if you work hard, it will pay off. Trust me, it will pay off, right? I never, I never, you know, brag about my grades, um, you know, and this is because I, I feel like, you know, I know where, where I came from. I know the amount of work that I put in and, you know, if I can do it and um, now I'm actually having the opportunity of talking to you and teaching people how to code, um, I'm, I'm really passionate about it, right? If I can do it, you can also do it. The thing is, don't give up. Literally, don't give up, right? Uh, you know, if I if I tell you like the amount of work that I put in, like in my second and third, third, especially third year, right? Me and my friends, Anani, uh, Ismail, Seb, Ahmed, um, we used to sleep. Trust me, we used to sleep at uni. It's just, it's just crazy. Like if I go back, I, I can even make more videos like, just, just on my experience. But we put in so much work and it was worth it. It was worth it. Now imagine if I had quit on my very first year. So don't be one of those that quit on your first year when you think that thing, when you find that things are too difficult. It's just part of the process. It's just part of the process, right? Just keep grinding, keep learning, keep studying, and it will pay off. So this is something that I, I feel like I need to uh, send a message to people, uh, which I know like a lot of people will go through the exact same thing. Um, and yeah, so just let me know what you, what you thought about this video. Were you one of those um, guys before? Um, what was your experience? Please let me know, I, I would love to know. If you're not part of the Amigos group, community go ahead and join the private facebook group over seven thousand people actually not ten uh, seven seven thousand people uh, learning how to code asking questions uh, and yeah so um don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up literally it, it literally means a lot to me especially now that i'm almost reaching 100k uh, your um your likes and you subscribing to my channel does really mean a lot to me. So this is all for now. I'll catch you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum.